Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. I'm amazed that so many people don't realize how biblical the world is. I'm amazed at how many people think they're a good person and they're on their way to heaven, even though they don't believe in Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ of the Bible. Many people I know, family members, etc., they think they're a good person and they're on their way to heaven. They don't worry about it. And that is a mistake. There is scripture, I'm not going to bring it up right now, but there is scripture that says, you and your household will be saved. That's, that's not verbatim, that's, that's not a quote from the Bible, but the Bible does say, you and your household will be saved. And I pray that's true for my family, especially my mom and grandma and grandpa, who I love so very much. I lost my mom in 2017. I lost my grandpa a few weeks ago. I appreciate all the prayers I get from you, brothers and sisters, and we're in this together. I pray for you guys and your families. If someone asks me to pray for them, I honestly pray for them to God. And I, you know, I go to God in prayer and say, Lord, I, I want these people to be saved. I want my brothers and sisters and their family members to be saved. It's hard living in a world that doesn't want to recognize the truth. Most people nowadays are very PC, politically correct, and they don't want to shun people, right? Whether it's their gender, <laughs> whatever that means, and whether it's their religion, To me, Jesus Christ is not religion. I'm a Christian, and Christianity is a religion, but it's the only right one. All the denominations, I don't pay mind to it. It doesn't affect me, because Jesus Christ is not about denominations. He's about dying on the cross, shedding his precious blood, being buried and resurrected three days later, according to the scriptures. I'm a Christian. What does that even mean? I believe in Jesus Christ, who he is and what he's done. I'm a passionate person. I really truly care. I come against deception. I come against sin and abomination. And people don't understand that in the world. They consider it hatred and hate speech, but it's not. Most of you brothers and sisters know what I'm talking about, whether it's the Freemasons, whether it's the homosexual agenda or the transgender agenda. These things are antichrist. I come against that. I do very seriously with all my heart, mind, soul and strength. I don't feel bad about it. I don't hate the people that are deceived. I want them to be saved. I've mentioned that all the time. I get angry at people sometimes. And I believe that is sin, like being angry at your neighbor and not trying to help them. But sometimes it's very hard because people are very stubborn. You know, again, I've, I've mentioned it so many times, but since 2015, I got on the internet, I got on YouTube, I created an account, I started making videos. I'm part of the truth community. And more importantly, I'm part of the Christian community, which is the truth community. 
If there's a truther that denies Jesus Christ and his gospel, denies his death, burial, and resurrection, they're not a truther. That is a fact that I'm saying, and it's not just my opinion. I've been through some hard times in my life in the past few years, losing loved ones and just not getting through to people I love. But I'm okay because Jesus makes me get through it. Jesus helps me to get through this. He does. He takes away fear and anxiety and pain. As a Christian, I should probably fast more and I should pray more. But having salvation, because I believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ, is a blessing. It is a blessing. It's more than a blessing. Brothers and sisters, someday everyone will bow, everyone will kneel, everyone will confess that Jesus is Lord, God, and Savior. I can rest in the finished work of Jesus Christ. I can rest in Him. I'm not tormented daily, but I still struggle with like so many people not understanding so many people I love not getting it and calling me crazy and whatever. I can deal with that, but I want them to be saved. Maybe I don't say something new every video, but... You know, it's all about Jesus, and I'm glad it is. It's not about me and my truth. It's about THE truth. And Jesus is the truth, the way, the life. So when people wonder sometimes about how you be saved, Jesus died on the cross here. And there's a thief on his right and on his left. There's another cross there, but... Jesus died so we can live. The thief on the cross that spoke to Jesus saying, I believe in you. And Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. How do people be saved? Believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Know who he is. Know what he's done. It's not a fairy tale. It's not a myth. It's the world we're living in. Everyone lives in this world. My prayer is that more people will be saved, go, go to heaven, take part in the wonderful promises of God. That's what I want. I want the truth. And Jesus is the truth, the way, the life, the way, the truth, the life. Whatever order you say that in, he is all of that. So brothers and sisters, everyone else, if you don't believe in Jesus, please believe in him today. God bless you.